Well, I'm in the Five on Your Side Solution Center with a problem that is so clever, even the smartest of people can fall for it. Consumer advocate Jonathan Walsh, Walsh is here now with more. And Jonathan, it's called the One Ring Ripoff. And Chris, I got to tell you, man, this is pretty nasty. It's hitting Cleveland, it's hitting all over the country. So, folks, beware. Think about bothersome phone calls, right? Where your phone rings, just stops. No voicemail, no messages, and it's not necessarily a number that you recognize. Kind of piques your interest, right? Fair warning. Don't call that number back. Phone rings, hangs up. A couple hours later, phone rings, hangs up. That's what happened to Sandy Lauer from Broadview Heights twice this month. You're wondering who the heck is this person who's bothering me? Here's how the one ring ripoff works you get a call, it rings once, then nothing. There's a number attached to it. Sandy's cell phone caller ID showed 268 762 0078 on February 2nd. Then two more calls 268 762 0023 and 0022 on the 4th. The only reason she didn't call the numbers back was because her husband had heard about these kinds of trick calls. If people do call back? You're actually dialing an international number, so you pay a hefty fee for that. And it's connecting you to a service that's going to bill you by the minute. Sue McConnell from the Cleveland Better Business Bureau tells us there's an initial fee of $19.95, then as much as $9 a minute after that. But don't call back if you don't know the number. A 268 area code looks harmless enough. There's no international code. It looks like it's coming from the U.S. But in all reality, the BBB tells us it's coming from way down here, places like Jamaica and the Caribbean islands. Plus, Sandy says there's another problem, too. You can't even block the number because the last two digits are different every time. Sandy has told her son, Matthew, and she contacted the Five on Your Side Solution Center to get the word out. I've been telling people I work with and other parents, you know, this is out there, and I know for a fact because it's been on my phone. I know it's there. Some on your side advice, folks. Always check your cell phone bills. If there's a charge on there, even a small one, immediately contact your phone company. And if you get a call and you don't recognize the number, do a Google search, some sort of search on the internet. See what people are saying about that number. But, folks, again, just don't call it back without some research. Indeed, some great advice there.